Everybody's looking forward to my spring training videos. They're finally here. We're doing the National League Central. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and vice pants. Yep, we're doing the Central. It's the uh, the Cubs. Pretty much it's the Cubs. I'm going to go on about this whole video for 10 minutes, but it's really going to just be the Cubs. Here's what happened last year. The Cubs won 103 games, and they ran away with the entire National League. Uh, they go to play the Indians, who didn't make, haven't made it to the World Series in a while. The Cubs hadn't made it in like 100 years, and they won the World Series. Holy crap. I was so happy. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Jake Arrieta, John Lester, Kyle Hendricks, John Lackey, Wade Davis making the saves. I don't even care who your fifth starter is. You're just winning games. Look at the, look. Let's look at the offense of the Cubs. First base, Anthony Rizzo. Second base, Javier Baez. That boy could play some second base, man. Chris Bryant at third. Addison Russell at short. In the outfield. Now, see, here's here's the only thing that the Cubs lost. Dexter Fowler was a great pickup, like going into spring training, like the day before spring training something like that, or maybe it was before the season started, Dexter ha Dexter Fowler didn't have a job, and the Cubs threw him a contract, a one-year contract right away. And he performed. He did great. And, you know, he signed with the Cardinals for three years this uh, past offseason. So that leaves uh, Jason Howard, John Jay, and that uh, couple other kids. I like this Matt Zger. I don't know his last name. It's S-Z-C-Z-U-R. -S Zger. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I love it. Uh, Wilson Contreras. Man, I was chanting this guy's name at the bar that one night. I was like, where's something that I could pound on? I was like, on the bar, and I would say, Wilson! Wilson! It was great! And he was like, ah! Oh, and he got on base and stuff. They were talking about training uh, Kyle Schwarber behind the plate, you know, to back up Contreras or to play opposite him. Or maybe they don't have enough outfield positions for Schwarber. I don't know. I, th I thought Schwarber would be dead set in the outfield, but uh, maybe not. They also got Ben Zobrist. Ben Zobrist is a great player. I love this kid. I, I The only thing I, I don't like about Ben Zobrist is that he hasn't played, f like, majority for one team at one position because he's so great at everything. So he's going to play some second base and outfield for uh, for the Cubs, and it's just going to be great. He could be the piece that replaces uh, Dexter Fowler, and they could be fine. It could be awesome. And I don't know if you guys know, but Kyle Schwarber didn't didn't really play last year. They missed out on him for like a whole lot, and now you know he's that boy can hit. So I feel the Cubs are just you know hands down going to run away with it. Which brings us over to the Cardinals. Cardinals have uh, a lot of good pitching. They, there's Adam Wainwright, Carlos Martinez is there, Mike Leake, Lance Lynn, Michael Waka. Not to be confused with the sound that Pac-Man makes when he's eating dots. Waka, 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 waka. Uh, Matt Carpenter, first base. Yaddy behind the plate. I'm a Yaddy fan. Dexter Fowler, like I said, signed a three-year contract with the Cardinals. He's going to play the outfield. They have it. They have enough pieces. They could. They could really make a legit shot at the wild card race. They're not nearly going to have enough talent to run at first place against the Cubs. There's no way. The Pirates. They re-signed Ivan Ivan Nova in the uh, off season. There. That was a trade last year from the Yankees. Gregory Gregory Polanco. I like him. Starling Marte. I like him. Andrew McCutcheon needs to have a big year, or it's just going to be over for the Pirates. They'll, if he's not having a performance year, or if he is and everybody else is, like, sucking it up, they'll probably trade McCutcheon by the break. That's 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 the truth. Adam Frazier at second base. Francisco Cervelli! Yankees farmhand. Played a good number of years with the Yankees. Very, very solid defense. Good offense here and there. He's loving it with the Pirates. It's great. Milwaukee. They got this Matt Garza guy over there. Junior Guerra. Guerra? Guerra? Ah, oh, G-U-E-R-R-A. -R -R Somebody pronounce that for me. Chase Anderson, Willie Peralta, Jet Bandy, Neftali, Feliz. Making the saves. He was that Rangers kid. Kid on the Rangers for a while. Uh, I, I looked at the Reds roster, <laughs> and I feel bad, because I knew even less names on the Reds roster than I did on Oakland's roster. 
Except for Joey Votto. That was the only guy. I'm like, oh, okay. I know who Joey Votto is. Everybody, there's 24 other players I never heard of in my life. So, uh, so pretty much my 2017 National League East. This is going to be a quick one because it's the Cubs. The Cubs all the way. Cubs are going to have a 15-game lead by the break. The Cardinals are going to make an impact if they all have a healthy year. And Pittsburgh needs to have that big offense from, uh, what's his name there, McCutcheon. Uh, they, they need better pitching. They have a couple of good guys. They re-signed Nova. I like it. I like where they're going. And it's going to be close. They're going to keep it close. Pittsburgh and St. Louis, They could. I, I think St. Louis is going to pull second without any trouble. Pittsburgh is just going to keep it close. It's going to be great. Cincinnati has a lot of youth. They could make it happen. I picked them for fourth. Milwaukee in the cellar. And that's all I got for the National League East.